Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do a video on how to connect Flask and Unicorn to Nginx uh, via Docker Compose. Uh, so this is like a little uh, graphic I made, um, just like how everything's going to work. So basically incoming requests from the client, which are going to be a web browser like Firefox or Chrome, are going to send um, parallel connections to Nginx or Nginx. Um, Nginx is then going to communicate via Unix socket uh, to Unicorn or UWSGI, whatever WSGI server you have, um, and that's going to send a request to Flask, and then that's going to be sent back to the client after that. Um, if you haven't already, you're going to want to install Docker and Docker Compose. I've got links in the description as well as the GitHub repository for this video. Um, it's, it's going to vary on a operating system basis. Um, to get started, we're going to set up just a basic Flask server, and then we'll go from there. So we're going to do what I usually do. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it app. With inside of this folder, let's create a module file. So just tell them the tell them Python this is the app folder is a module, and then our create app file, right? And if inside of here, we're going to want to start the Flask application itself. Um, If you haven't already, I suggest looking at the video I posted, um, I think it was last week, on how to connect Flask and Unicorn. Um, this is kind of just going to build on the knowledge that was within that, that video. If you don't need any kind of configuration. Let's just route a basic index. And let's have it just return um, the hello world for this video. And we're going to return the app at the end, right? Um, so now to run this, we can do it with Unicorn, as I did in our last video. So let's um, run up just one worker. Let's do. So we're going to pass in the module name, so it's app, the file, that the function, or the app is created in. Create app and then the function name, like that. Okay, so now we have an app running at localhost port 8000. Let's verify that, right? Cool, yep, hello world. So, let's say we wanted to dockerize this. Um, we need to first create a docker file. Let's do that here. And let's use um, let's have it use the Python 3.7 image. And I like to copy all of my um, my Flask apps to var ww, so we're going to do that as well here. You don't have to do that. Um, we're going to add all the contents to this var ww folder, so we're going to have um, the app module is going to be in there. We're going to change the working directory to be this container home. This is how Docker is going to communicate with Docker Compose and through this working directory. Um, now from here, we're going to want to install our requirements. Um, because Docker is going to basically virtualize the um, dependencies. So Flask and Unicorn need to be installed with inside the Docker container. So let's create our requirements at txt file so pip can be used. Let's give it Flask and Unicorn. So those are the two modules we're using within our application. Um, and now we want to create our Docker Compose file. So basically what Docker Compose does is it allows you to have two different Docker machines communicate to each other. So we're going to have one machine for Nginx. We're going to have one machine for our Flask application. So let's start creating that Docker Compose file. See, there's two different uh, Docker symbols here, right? Um, up top, you want to specify the specify the version of your Docker Compose. Um, it's in 3.1. I think it's the latest one right now. And then we want to specify the list of services that we're going to run, or basically the different containers that we're going to be using. So we're going to have one, which is going to be our Nginx container. Um, we want to specify the image that this is going to pull from. This is kind of similar to the uh, the image we have here. So this is the Python 3.7 slim image. Here we're going to use the 
engine X, um, the 15 image, and name our container so we can view the processes pretty easily. Um, I'll show you how to do that later once we start it. Specify the volumes of it, um, just where the files are going to be located. So we're going to copy um, everything in the root directory of the current app to our WW. And we're going to create a configuration file. Let's call it um, Jinx dev. Uh, let's call it default. Uh, conf. This is a Nginx, Nginx configuration file. I'm going to go over how to create that later. Um, but we want to also copy that um, to where Nginx keeps their configuration files, which is at um, etsy Nginx conf.d. And we want to call it default.conf. This is how. Um, yeah, this should work. I want to expose to certain ports. Um, we're going to do port 8080. So, like this. This is just the HTTP protocol port. Um, we're also going to create a network to have the, the Nginx container and the Flask container communicate to each other. Um, let's just call it my network for now. We're going to create this in a little bit. Um, and then the Nginx container is going to depend on our Flask one. Um, so it depends on the container name, which is going to be Flask. Um, so let's create the Flask one now, right? Specify where it could build its Docker file. Um, so it could build it within the folder, or the, I'm sorry, the Docker file is located within the current container or folder. The name of the Docker file is Docker file. This isn't necessarily needed. I just like to be explicit with it. This container name is going to be Flask. And the command to run this container, um, we're going to run the unicorn command that we did here, right? Um, so unicorn. Let's bind it to port 8080, though, because this is what we're going to use within our Nginx configuration. We're going to have to specify what port um, to communicate from with the Flask application. Uh, let's just do four workers and we're app. Create app is where it's all located. And the function again. I don't know why it is here or there. Um, again, we're going to specify the same volume, um, just like where everything's located. Um, and again, the network. So here, um, this is where it gets a little different than the network we did above. We want to alias it um, just to make it easier on us because sometimes you're going to have multiple different networks. If you want to have a client side and server side network to communicate with Nginx, let's just call it Flask app for now. And now we're going to actually specify. Um, that we have this new my network at the bottom underneath the services within the Docker Compose. So just to be with the services, we want to specify what networks we have. Um, we have a network called my network. Okay. So now let's work on our nginx configuration file. So what it's going to do is we're going to declare what the upstream server is, which is our unicorn application. This is how it's going to communicate to the Unix socket. So it's called Flask App. Let's see, um, I'm going to put these side by side so we can kind of see what we're doing here. So here, we alias our network to be Flask App. That's why we have now upstream Flask App here. It's communicating with this Docker, I mean, with this uh, unicorn socket. We specify the server because um, Docker is going to automatically resolve the correct address that we need. Let's um, from the container name, so our container name within the Docker Compose file is Flask. We're going to be at port 8000. That's what we ran the unicorn command with. And now let's specify the Nginx uh, declaratives. So, listen for port 80. Server name. It's going to connect to local host. And now we want to forward all traffic. So, every traffic coming to the local host. Uh, pass it into our Flask app. Um, I think these all need a semicolon at the end. 
Sorry. It's a lot to try and remember here. Um, I'm actually just going to copy this in from my other file I've got, so it saves time. I'm going to have all the code um, for this in a GitHub repository in the description. But, here. So now we have our uh, Nginx configuration file. Um, we should have everything now to actually be able to run this Docker uh, Compose file. It's going to create two containers and connect the two of them. Um, so let's just go over what we did here. We created the Docker file to uh, Dockerize the Flask application. We created the Docker Compose file to connect the, uh, the Flask container with our Nginx container. The two of them should communicate together. Um, and we created our Nginx configuration to have the um, Nginx communicate with the Unicorn socket that then runs our application. So to run all of this now, we should just be able to type Docker Compose up. It's going to build your containers um, and then start it. So it's going to recreate flash, recreate uh, unexpected. So we got a little error somewhere. Oh, I think I'm missing a semicolon in my um, configuration here. There we go. That should fix it. You did see that the unicorn started correctly though, um, but Nginx never started. Starting Flask, starting engine X, and there we go. Now we've attached both Flask and engine X. We're listening on port 8000. This is going to then be translated to the engine X, um, or it's going to be served engine X, which is going to then serve it back to a local host. So we shouldn't even need a port. So let's open that up. So localhost 8000 should still work. Oh, I guess it didn't work. Localhost works. There. So um, what happened was exactly what this graphic says. Flash communicated with Unicorn. Unicorn went back to Nginx and the client was served to localhost. Um, you can do a few things now that everything's up and running. Um, you can view the two containers uh, with the ps command through Docker. So if I did Docker ps right now. Oh, sorry. So we've got our Nginx container and our Flask container. The commands that were used to run them, when they were created, the status of them, as well as uh, some other things. See, we specified the names of them, Nginx and Flask there. Okay, so we've uh, successfully successfully now connected Flask and Unicorn to Nginx via Docker Compose. Um, I'm going to have all the code that was used in this video um, in the GitHub repository. It's going to be linked in the description below.